I don't really know what's going on. Um, is there not an English live stream, or is it just this? I don't know. I see that there's this trailer, right? I thought there was supposed to be a stream at 11. Or, sorry, at 8. Okay, so there's this and then the stream? Okay, well, we're going to watch this. Um, so, here we go. They put out this trailer a couple hours ago. I wish I would have known that, but that's okay. Um, but anyways, here we go. Lantern Rite Festival. I'm on an aether. Yo, Dude, I can't wait for this. Beautiful lantern. How is it made? Wow, so many stalls. All that glitters. Come try your hand at theater mechanicus. Was that a new domain? Or like, it seems I guess it's something a dungeon, I guess. If you're able to, <clears throat> could you try to convince Xiao to go with you? Gotta convince the the solo man to come and watch. And their voices. There's the man. Hear them. If you cannot bring yourself to kill, he's using primordial dude. Evil conquering. Do not judge a dead Edge guy by your mortal ideals. Oh. Cry. So well, there's the is that that's the weekly boss or not weekly boss, but he's just a new boss. I think <laughs> Bowser Oh, that glitters to all oh, they're doing it a day early. It, they had it scheduled for the fourth, but it's coming out on the third. Paimon will help you find her. Thank you, we'll the next lantern right together. Aww. So, I guess, are we getting a story? I wonder if we are getting like actual continuation of the main story then since they decided to mention that all that glitters land and right tales theater mechanicus oh choose one of the fo we get to pick one five flushes of fortune oh we're using the camera fish apps where to find them oh are they are these just world bosses Leyline overflow. The flow of experience. Double leyline rewards. Is that what that was? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so has their stream started? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ha ha! <laughs> See, I planned this. This was perfectly timed. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, that was so sick. Okay. Diving time. Oh, we really just made it just in time, didn't we? Holy shit. 
Alright. Here we go. I type Hi the there, codes Traveler. down. Hey, it's Barbara. Oh, you look like something's on your mind. Did something happen? Perhaps you can tell me about it. And maybe I can do something to make you feel better. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. Just seeing me is enough. Well, if you really feel that way, then I'm truly happy. Huh? Oh my god, she's you so precious, like bro. You're feeling <laughs> Spicy dried fish. <laughs> you give me 100 spicy dried fish. That's and a lot. Make me a promise that you won't tell anyone. If you do that for me, then I'll share my idol secret with you. <laughs> they did this with Amber too. Whenever in the I past. Sad, it's this journal that pushes me to continue on. Huh? It's no ordinary journal. <laughs> It carries all the compliments and hopes that everyone has for me. Of course, it has criticisms too. All of this is, this is too fucking to precious. To I can't do it, man. Like, uh, it's too much. Oh, like, if the sweetness of one glass of sweet flower milk ranks ten, then Barbara is as sweet as ten glasses. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No. Just where do people come up with such heartwarming compliments? You want to write in my journal too? Oh hey! Don't tease me like that! Oh my god, dude, I can't. You Holy did shit. Make me a promise that you would keep this a secret. This has gotta be one of the cutest things I've ever seen, bro. If you wanted to come talk with me again soon? Well then, maybe I can note down your remarks too. Oh, the live stream is about to start. Seems we'll have to pick this up another time. <laughs> but I'm sure you and I will meet again sometime soon. I'll ever so eagerly await that day. Bye bye. Holy shit, bro. Oh, yo. Hello and welcome to the official Genshin Impact oh, Ganyu's here. Special program. I'm your host, Karina Betker, Attended. aka the voice of Paimon. And once again, I'm joined by. Greetings, everyone. I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, and I'm the voice of the male traveler, Ether. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that we get to do this together again! Yeah, we definitely had a great time in the last special program. Our New Year's wish came true, Zach, Gary. and they actually invited us back to do another version preview! Yes! But this time, we have another special host joining us. Let's welcome Jennifer Losey! <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jen Losey, and I voice Ganyu, secretary at the Yua High Pavilion. I'm really excited to join you both for the special program. I love welcome, this shit, bro. Great to have you join us. You sound almost as excited as Ganyu working overtime. <laughs> What can I say? I'm just super pumped to do some version 1.3 previews. This is gonna be awesome. Alright, so before we get this thing rolling, let's take a moment again to thank our viewers for joining us today and for their You're amazing welcome. support thank of you. Attention Impact. Thank thanks you for everyone. hosting these amazing awesome. freaking yeah, streams, bro. Guys, it honestly feels like version 1.2 just came out yesterday! I mean, I can't believe it's already time for 1.3. I know, right? Time flies when you're farming dragon spine. <laughs> so tell us, Karina, how have you liked version 1.2 so far? Have you died in the cold yet? Oh, I died a lot. Sheer cold was like, uh, take no prisoners, you're gonna die. Because I forgot it existed so many times. So that was my fault. But I honestly loved the mechanic. It was a really fun thing to like figure out, oh gosh, I'm freezing. How am I gonna get to warmth? Anyway, I'm freezing right now too. I'm, I'm gonna get sheer way, cold, bro. That's exactly why we're here today. <laughs> Absolutely. So why don't we do a quick overview of the content coming our way in version 1.3? Well, that sounds like the right place to start. All right, Jen, you're up. What can the travelers expect in this update? <laughs> okay, I got this. In version 1.3, travelers will be participating in one of Leoa Harbor's traditional festivals, the Lantern Rite. We'll also be getting a brand new playable character, lots of special events, as well as some all-new Only challenges. one? 
And as always, there'll be some nifty updates and optimizations to Genshin Impact's overall gameplay experience. So what? <gasps> oh my god! Shall we? Only? Right, it sounds so magical. <laughs> yeah, I'm especially excited. Wow, funny about the when leaks don't come true. And I'll have a lot more to share on that later. Unless yeah, she's a surprise. Given that this but... is an annual festival, it'll be another whole year before it comes around again. A whole year? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I have to put it in my calendar so I make sure I don't miss it. And you shouldn't miss this either, travelers. <laughs> also, Zhang Li will be seeing some adjustments in the version 1.3 update Hell as well. Yeah. Ooh, definitely good He's news gonna be fucking cracked, bro. Okay, good, great. Thank you for the overview, Jen. Okay, now let's start Big Dong with Jong. the trailer for the Genshin Impact version 1.3, shall we? Oh, but wait a minute. Is it a new trailer one we've already seen? Again? Oh my gosh, yes! The prizes! Okay, as most of you probably expect, we will be giving away redeemable codes for yep. our viewers throughout the stream, so stay tuned I'll be typing them in Genshin Impact. I want them saved in there anyway, because I'm going to be uploading this as a video later. You can just YouTube. sit back and have your friends message you when the redeemable codes show up. But that's no fun, Zach. We want to watch it all together. And remember, adventuring is about companionship. <laughs> that's right. So you better adventure with me, Zach. I'm telling you. Okay, so to kick things off, why don't we just give away our first code right now? Wait, really? Before first we code already? The trailer? Yep. All right. Surprise! What's better than starting things off with some Primo gems? Nothing is better than free Primo gems. Sounds good to me. All right, guys. Uh, time to message your buddies. Goodies they said Primo now. gems last stream. Now they're saying two, Primo gems. So now I don't know what to call Primo them anymore. Gems. I'm going to call them Primo gems again because that's what I called them in the first place. There you guys go. Let's go. One hundred, one hundred Primo gems and ten mystical ore. So that means, uh. 20 PST. I like how they're using PST now. They are really inconsistent with using that, times. That was unexpectedly early. <laughs> I bet even Mona didn't see that coming. So be sure to stick around. So finally, 8 p.m. It's now time for our first look at the official trailer for Genshin Impact version 1.3. All that glitters. <laughs> oh, we already Let's watched go. this though. Okay, that's fine. Repeat. Repeat in lower quality because it's a stream now. <laughs> wow, oh well. Such a beautiful lantern. How is it made? Wow. So many stalls. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Come try your hand at Theater Mechanicus. There seems to be something mysterious about this photographic apparatus. If you're able to, <clears throat> could you <laughs> try to convince Xiao to go with you? There's gonna be. S Leeway is already pretty, but like, seeing them with the lanterns too. Ooh, baby. Their voices. I can always hear them. If you cannot bring yourself to kill, I'll speak my name. Evil conquering! Do not judge a death die by your mortal ideals. He's so edgy, dude. Cry. I think that's why people love him. or something. I want to know the lore behind this guy because he's like Monka S. By the way, is that a new sword? And a new spear? I didn't notice that the first time. Oh, 
February 3rd, baby. Now we get now we get the Sag part again. Peepy -pee hands, peepy -pee hands. Paimon will help you find her, and we'll spend the next lantern right together. Sag. Sag. Oh, I see a crown down there. I didn't notice that the first time. Why isn't Bennett in that list, bro? <laughs> that was leeway characters. I'll probably get another Shin Yan. Yeah, that was at times two. Dang, so what? We should have saved our resin? Well, I still have some good. Or not condensed, but fragile. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Leo Harbor is already so beautiful at night, but the Lantern Rite is extra special, right? I can't get over how magical it all is. I mean, just look at all those lanterns and lights. That's a lot of hard work for everybody in the city and the development team. I've got to hand it to them for making the festive scenery this stunning. Yeah, it looks like the Lantern Rite will be taking center stage as the main event for version 1.3. And, judging from the trailer, it seems our old friend Xiao, Conqueror of Demons, is going to play an important role in version 1.3. Conqueror of Demons. <laughs> what a title. <laughs> yup. In fact, Travelers will be following Xiao through his very own story quest at the beginning of the Lantern Rite event. Throughout the event period, nice. Travelers as low as Adventure Rank 23 can unlock Xiao's story quest. Well, that's early. Without even using a story key. Adventure Rank 23? Man, that practically takes me back to when I first arrived at Leah Harbor. So, what about after the Lantern Rite? Will the unlock conditions change for Xiao's story quest? Unfortunately, once the Lantern Rite is over, travelers will need to be Adventure Rank 32 to unlock his story quest, and they will also need to use a story key. So it sounds like travelers should take advantage of the Lantern Rite and enjoy the story quest sooner rather than later. Exactly! So, from the looks of things, I'm guessing our new character for version 1.3 is going to be Xiao? It's the first time I've done that. And speaking of which, let's have a first look at Xiao's character trailer together. Seth, oh, snap. I will let you take care of his introduction. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this might be the traveler's usual response for requests, but leave it to me. <laughs> leave it to me. Isn't that like... That's like a line that so many characters use in so many video games. I don't know why. Yo, what's up with the moon? I like skipping all over the song, bro. Oh. How high did he just launch himself in the air? I think it looked higher than it was, but boy. In the thousands of years that have passed, I have taken countless wraiths. If you want no trouble, stay away from me. See me as a weapon and nothing more. <laughs> Whoa, Xiao's got again, some edgy. moves. I really dig his fighting style. Hmm, I wonder what his talents will be like. Yeah, our new playable character might actually seem familiar to our viewers. Many of you may have already encountered him as the mysterious Yaksha Adeptus at Wang Shuin. Oh, yeah, he's the guy on the balcony that likes almond tofu. And I've heard some of the story. As a vigilant Yaksha, he has been battling to protect the city of Liyue for thousands of years now. He manipulates the animal element and wields a polearm as his weapon. Oh my gosh, another polearm character? Just like Xiangling and Zhongli! That's right, and he'll be our first polearm character for the animal element. Let's take a quick look at some of his attack details. Yes, sounds good. His charged the attack is an upper third thrust. polearm and character. Check this out. Xiao has a special plunging attack. He won't take any plunging damage no matter how high he decides to attack from. Wait, what? You're telling me that he can just leap off of Mount Hulao and come flying down with his plunging attack without losing any HP? How do I apply that to real life? <clears throat> uh, don't try this at home, kids, but essentially, yeah, 
That's how Time to jump off dragon also, spine and should note that the height kill some enemies. Plunges determines how much plunging attack damage he deals. Oh, oh nice. So it sounds like the higher he attacks from, the more damage he'll deal. Is there a cap to that? <laughs> the travelers will have to experiment and see. Just be careful out there, guys. Oh, no, I'm not going to be careful. I'm going to mark down every enemy location on the ground so that way I can come crashing down from the sky like lightning. Losing, Boom, losing your legs. Like yeah. <laughs> Don't jump off a dragon spine in real life, gamers. I'm pretty sure we already have an achievement for that in-game. You know, like hitting an opponent after plunging through the air for a certain amount of time. Wait, really? Yep. How did I not know that? Maybe I don't think I have that one yet. don't jump off of things as much as I do. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm writing a note. Jen said it's okay to jump off buildings. I think Got it's it. five Jumping seconds, on. right? No, don't do that. <laughs> well, Xiao will be the perfect character for the job. Now, let's get into his skills. All righty. Xiao's elemental skill is called Lemniscatic Wind Cycling. In this skill, Xiao lunges forward and deals animo damage to enemies in his path. The skill starts with two charges, but the interesting zip, is, zip. is that Xiao can also perform the skill in midair. Wait, hold on. He can lunge in, like, midair? Does he do parkour? Does gravity just not apply to him or something? <laughs> My goodness. Crazy oh, mobile by character. The way, what's that thing Xiao's holding? Is that a mask? I think so, but it doesn't really look like any ordinary Zip. mask. Oh, he had um, My guess is that it's related to his powers or something. Well, you're close. It's Xiao's Yaksha mask. When Xiao unleashes his elemental burst, Bane of All Evil, he dons the mask and takes the form of the vigilant Yaksha at the price of his HP. When Xiao has the Yaksha's mask on, he constantly loses HP, but his jumping ability greatly increases as well as his attack AoE and damage. And not only that, his attack damage converts into animo damage while he has the mask on. Ah. Oh, so it's like a cruel exchange! Health for more damage! Okay, I got it. <laughs> a kind reminder to all future Xiao players, please keep an eye on Xiao's HP when you use his elemental burst. Okay, thanks! Because it drains. Oh, that's a pretty interesting mechanic. Every new character seems to and be bringing dies. something cool to the table. So... When will he be joining the game? Xiao will be available through his very own character event wish, which will begin alongside the release of version 1.3 on February 3rd. They're doing a coochie banner? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to adding him to my team. And since Time to get some constellations, boys! The Lantern Rite events, Kuching will be seeing her first ever character event wish on February 17th. They, they knew it's so just next up. We it's have my the birthday month, right man. Events. It's my birthday Jen, month. They, they're just like, yours. hey, let's have <laughs> some sure coaching. <laughs> As secretary at the Yua High Pavilion. <laughs> when I don't get a shower, but I get details. like five coachings. <laughs> nice. <laughs> next on the agenda, here comes the event schedule for the Lantern Rite. Oh, yeah, I'm super curious. Does that so mean Hu Tao's not coming like, to 1.4 then? Details. I mean, like, it's obviously something related to lanterns, I, I hope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's take a closer look. <laughs> As you can see here, travelers will be able to receive up to a total of 10 intertwined fates by logging in during this login event. Wow, nice. Free temple. Oh, yes, more intertwined fates. In addition to that, travelers will have the chance to obtain one of any of Leo's current playable four star characters through one of the Lantern Rite events. Wait, any uh, of Leo's four star characters? Okay, let's see. Who do we have? Um, Ningguang, Beidou, Xiangling, Xingqiu, Changyun, and Xinyan, right? Great, I'll take them I'll all. I'll probably get another Xinyan, to be honest. Hey, leave some for <laughs> Sorry, Zach. You'll only be able to choose one. So be sure to yeah, choose wisely. But I'm the traveler. <laughs> During the Lantern Rite event period, there will be a variety of different events for travelers to participate in. Character Ascension materials and character talent upgrade materials will be available in the event shop during There's the Lantern Rite. a lot Rite. of And travelers can stuff receive to get. more than 1,600 Primo Gems by participating in various events throughout version 1.3. <gasps> Yay, oh, baby. more Primo Gems! Wow, it seems like there will be a lot going on during the Lantern Rite. Can we get a closer look at some of these events? Before travelers head to Leo Harbor to celebrate poles. the Lantern Rite Festival, they'll first need to meet Xiao and join him in his quest to fight demons and protect the city Wait, no, of Leo. Not. Well, sounds like Xiao's not getting pole. any time off for the holidays, huh? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. It depends <laughs> well, on what 1600 is. Well, like Vigilant Yaksha and Conqueror of Demons, off days probably aren't a priority for him. Uh, well, you're probably 
probably right. Gaia no, it's, would it's like that, balls. though. I'm stupid. So it sounds okay. like the first quest of Lantern Right <laughs> will basically be Xiao's take our travelers to work day. Uh, yeah, I guess you could put it that way. For some reason, I thought 16,000. complete, travelers can officially return to Liyue Harbor to participate in preparations for the Lantern Rite. Yes! Now let's get to the festival! As its name implies, the Lantern Rite is all about lanterns. And there are several major parts to the festival. Xiao Market? Wait, hold on. Xiao owns his own market? Well, no, actually, Xiao They're doing another no baptism of song? Market. So <laughs> the names are just a coincidence? Yep. <laughs> Okay, but please tell me there will be some goodies at the Xiao Market, and I'm talking about food. I want all the food. Where's all the good food? All I could say is the Xiao Market will unlock varieties of valuable goods in different stages, but probably not any Paimon burritos. <laughs> Sounds good. Paimon what burritos. What do you mean by stages? The Lantern Rite's progress will be indicated by three different stages in the festival, and travelers will need to complete requests from Lantern Rite Tales to raise Lantern Rite's festive fever. Festive fever! <laughs> <laughs> Once festive fever reaches the set requirements, the next stage will automatically unlock with more quests, storylines, and of course, new goods in the Shao market as well. Ooh, so it looks like we'll get to experience many stories throughout the Lantern Rite. Yeah, and with their efforts, travelers will get to release lanterns into the sky alongside the residents of Liyue. Sick. Ah, so that's why there are so many lanterns in the sky. Wait, back to the Shell Market. Will we be using Mora to buy things? Actually, the market is an event shop. Oh, so we have to earn event currency somehow. That's right. And oh, this is where crystals. Theater Mechanicus comes in. Theater Mechanicus of Azoth. will be a new what was type that? of event gameplay. Travelers will need to speak with Regin in the Lantern Rite area to try out this new game she has designed. In Theater Mechanicus, Travelers will need to deploy things called Mechanicai to eliminate incoming enemies. Up to two travelers can challenge oh, the stage together. But it'll also support thing? single player, right? <laughs> yes. What people been talking about? Don't worry, we all know you play alone, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, what are those? <laughs> well, you can always play with us. By completing in-game challenges, travelers may obtain Vinificus sigils, which can be used to upgrade Mechanicai or unlock more types of Mechanicai. What? <laughs> Let's get in the game and check it out. Oh, so it almost looks zombies, like kind of a bro. board game. And um, those chess piece thingies are the mechanics. Yes. And are they doing defense, damage bro. automatically? Yes, they attack automatically. Travelers That's sick. can win the game by using Mechanicai to protect their leyline. The elemental from reactions. Being it just fits perfectly. Or by preventing monsters from escaping the board. Hmm. It looks like the Mechanicai all do different things. That's right. Different Mechanicai have different effects. It'll be important for travelers to build combinations of Mechanicai during the game. But how do we get those Mechanicai? I mean, I'm sure they don't it's just appear like out of nowhere. It's kind of like dungeon defenders nope. if travelers you get to will attack. Travelers need to spend anyway. Vinificus points to build Mechanicai on designated locations. Got it. So how do we get Vinificus points? By killing monsters or removing existing Mechanicai. Yo, mm, it's like, okay. yeah, it reminds me of dungeon defenders, bro. So that bro. also means we can change our deployment of Mechanicai during the game. Exactly. After you eliminate a certain number of enemies, you'll have the chance to activate Mystic Arts, too. Ooh, mystical! <laughs> That's so cool. Mystic Arts cost that sounds fun. points. Some of the Mystic, Mystic Arts, Arts enhance Traveler's Mechanicai on the field, while others could greatly increase Holy the power crap. of your Mechanicai, but not without negative side effects. So it sounds like there will be some hard decisions to make. Oh no, I can feel the struggles already! <laughs> But it sounds like it might be interesting to take some risks. And of course, if you do win a game of Theater Mechanicus, you'll gain the currency to spend in Shao Market, called Peace Talismans. Oh, that's an Peace interesting talismans. way to earn vent currency. It's less about fighting monsters and more about chess skills. I mean, Mechanicai skills. They have yeah, ice that. shields. <laughs> that, that was weird. And there will also be a range of different difficulties for travelers to try, so be sure to give it a go. Definitely. The Mida Trill said, uh, like, so I should. So far, we have a story quest to begin with, followed by loads of requests to complete, lanterns to release, a board game to play, and to top it all off, we have a market to shop in with hopefully lots of food. I love it already. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a real festival to me. And I can't wait to see Liyue Harbor completely this is be decked fun, out for dude. the occasion. Oh, I know. Liyue is already amazing for taking night shots right now, so I can't wait to see what it looks like with all the lanterns. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, going to take tons of photos earlier. around the city with Ganyu. Speaking of which, 
It seems the event coordinators had photos in mind too, aside from the Lantern Rite events. We will also have another festive event called Five Flushes of Fortune, which will require travelers to take special photos using the Curious Camera. Players will need to speak with Ji Tong in the Lantern Rite event area and claim the Curious Camera. Get the camera, camera in the game right now so if you guys didn't know that. What will we be doing exactly for this event? Oh my gosh, please tell me we will be snapping pictures of Paimon! <laughs> Not quite. During the event, Ji Tong will have a different oh. photo subject for each day. And travelers cool. will need to take photos of the designated subject to complete the quest and receive a random photo as a reward. Travelers will have 10 chances a day to take photos Breath with the, the Curious vibes. Camera. So what's on those random photos? I mean, why would those be a reward for us? They better not be random photos of Paimon. What's wrong with the full scrapbook of Paimon, Zach? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, I have one. <laughs> but that's a good question, Zach. Each random photo has a color, and if you collect a complete set of five different colors, you can exchange the set for a fortune trove from Jitong. Hence the name, Five Flushes of Fortune. Ooh, fortune trove. I like Neat. the sound of that. Treasure! Inside each fortune trove, travelers will find some primo gems alongside other random material rewards. Primo gems? Oh, I'm gonna be all over uh, them. <laughs> travelers will be able to exchange for up to eight fortune troves. So don't worry, you won't have to grind like crazy. Uh, yeah, so am I the only one who's worried about not being able to collect all the Did different you get 60 every time? You did say that the colors are given randomly. So this is where friends come in, Zach. Travelers will be able to exchange the colored photos with their friends, which is why every photo will still be useful. Oh, awesome. Ah. So if I have too many photos of a certain color, I could just send them to whoever else who needs them. That's right. <laughs> Looks like cool. I should start making some friends. That's what the festive season is all about, Zach. <laughs> Looks Play like with I your finally friends, have a reason Zach. to add you. Except my friend no, request, Zach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on. <laughs> 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 so that's it for the Lantern Rites main event area. In the next part of our special program, we'll get to see an all-new monster, as well as another related event. Wow, there's already so much new content. Hey, why don't we take a quick break and reward our loyal viewers out there? Good I love that the voice Zach. actors play the game. Goodies inbound in three, At least two, these three do. One. No, just let me type them, bro. Don't weird champ me. I'm doing it for a mental note as well, because I'm going to put them in the description, so... Snap. So that's different elements. Imagine using Lisa Kek W. <laughs> JK, JK. A mystical beast. That area that he's in right there is new. Dude, he looks sick. All right, welcome back, everyone. As everyone knows, version 1.2 saw the addition of some ferocious, frosty monsters, which I'm pretty sure killed me quite a few times. And version 1.3 will also not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also died more than. Oh my god, there's two there. Times. <laughs> in version 1.3, Zach. Well, I mean, they all look pretty tough, and I feel like I'm gonna die a lot again. But, I, I mean, look at them. They're covered in rock from head to toe. 
Yeah, they're really cool looking, but I'm not sure I want to run into one when I'm out picking flowers. Though, they kind of remind me of Geo Bishop hatchlings, just bigger and scarier. Well, Jen, you're getting close. It's fine, they, they are. are just hatchlings, <laughs> but the big mod Geo big boys. themselves. During the Lantern Rite, the Adventurers Guild has been receiving numerous reports of dangerous Geo Bishops, and Catherine of Leo Harbor will be commissioning adventurers to further investigate the matter. More commissions and investigation. Hmm. Sounds like we'll have some exploring to do. Oh, yeah, but not quite what you're expecting, Zach. In the Vishaps and Where to Find Them event, Catherine will post eight different expedition commissions each day. From what? which travelers can choose four to complete. Ah, so this event will actually Yo. be focusing on expeditions. Yep, and unlike usual expeditions, travelers can dispatch multiple characters in what? one investigation, with each additional character increasing the possibility of bonus rewards. Also, travelers Yo. will even be able to recruit one of their friends' characters as a supporting character. Ooh, nice. More reason to make friends in game. Gives it a hundred percent chance. I should be glad that I don't need to investigate those geo bishops in person. Wrong again. Huh? As you progress through the expeditions, you will unlock on the hunt challenges to track down Geo Bishops and confront them directly. And once again, we'll probably get killed. <laughs> <sighs> and I thought the hatchlings are already nice. tricky enough. Oh, I, I know, like this. Right? But that's not all. The primo Geo Bishop is gonna emerge into that as a boss. The <sighs> primo. An even tougher Geo Bishop as a boss. Yup. Oh, well, I'm ready. <laughs> Yay! To die. Well, is this the chasm? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we all are. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might need a little bit Big of practice chungus. for this one, but it's still fun to have new challenges. Yeah, for sure. I'll give it a go. So there's like all normal right. ones in the That's overworld, and there's the, the, pro the primo one. And I'm already super Which I'm assuming is like so far, a boss that you spent resin on. More features to introduce to everyone. Well, then, allow me to guide our viewers through these final features. Take us through it, Zach. First up, a brand new living beings category will be added to the archive. It living will showcase bean info beings. about any living beings that travelers have defeated, caught, or discovered so far. Travelers will be able to check out dex. the cool 3D models of Yo. those creatures, the total number of each creature they've defeated, and check previous tutorials. That's In addition, awesome. there will also be a separate section for any wildlife travelers have encountered. <laughs> Does that include those cute little doggies I've seen in That's game? That's awesome. I've been naming them. We'll have to wait for version 1.3 and see. I'll definitely be checking to see if Yo, there's any wildlife too. because I love cute little animals. <laughs> this is so sick, is, bro. Which category would Paimon go in? Hmm. Oh, is there a snacks category? Hey! All the different types of birds. They even have the dogs and cats. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, our next new feature will be some additions to our traveler profile screen. After the version 1.3 oh. update, each traveler will have their current number of achievements and a bit progress showcase. displayed to other travelers via their Achievement profile display. screen. Achievement display, awesome. They can also select up to eight characters to display via their character showcase. If they wish, travelers game, can make detailed dude. information about their characters visible to other travelers by enabling show character details. That is so sick. Showcase characters' info, including attributes, weapons, we can artifacts, look at people's artifacts and stuff and now. Will be visible to Let's other go! Oh, that's so cool! So friends will finally be able to easily check out each other's character builds. Yeah, this that will make it a lot so easier to learn from sick. other travelers and improve our own characters. That's right. And in addition to all the new features, version 1.3 is also going to make ascending your characters easier than ever. Yep, I want to oh. know that. Tell me that. I want to. I want to know more. During the Lantern Rite Festival, oh, is this the, the conversion maze of Mondstadt makes a breakthrough in elemental transmutation, allowing travelers to use an item called oh, there's Dust that of new Azoth item. to exchange character ascension materials of oh, one they element to those dust. of another yeah, via dust of Azoth. So if I'm missing character ascension materials of a certain element. I can use Dust of Azoth to exchange what I have on hand so Sick. the materials I need. Basically, Sick. yeah. That's gonna be a real time saver. But there's more. Travelers Adventure Rank 31 and above will be able to receive a quest from Lan in Liyue Harbor called Tiencho Treasure Trail. After completing this quest, travelers will receive a new gadget called the Parametric Transformer, 
which can be used to transmute materials. Transmute them into oh. what? Oh! <laughs> I'll leave this one to our adventurers to discover in version 1.3. What? what is this? Be some surprises. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's so good to know we'll have more options for obtaining materials in version 1.3. And I'm not even finished yet. Last but not least, what? there will be a ley line overflow <laughs> event in version 1.3. During this event, travelers can gain double rewards from overflowing Blossoms of Wealth or Blossoms of Revelation three times daily. <gasps> three times so daily. that means more Mora. And character Sick. experience materials as well. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> It'll definitely be easier to level up characters in version 1.3. Oh, I'm already thinking about all the new team combinations using the characters this is I haven't pod. leveled up yet. Yeah, I'm pod. I think we can take advantage of this update to work on all our new characters. And with that in mind, I think it's time that we give our last redeemable code! But before we do that, I just want to remind our viewers that our final section will be about some new soundtracks. So be sure to stay tuned. New okay, soundtracks? Ready? Code inbound in three. Love myself some soundtracks. Two, one. Let's go! Hey, it's my girl! M B E M B M Y L two B two B one hundred primos and fifty thousand aura. Especially now that all the redeemable codes have been handed out. In this last part <laughs> of our special program, we'll be sharing some brand new tracks from yes, version 1.3. Are you excited? We you get know some it. certified Engine's bangers. music never lets me down. It, it doesn't Let's let me right down either, bro. And let the notes do the talking. That's some of the best music Let's I've heard in video listen. games. Maestro, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes! Yes! Let's go! I was just talking about this in the trailer the other day. I'm like, bro, they don't put out the trailer music, but there it is. Let's go. Cat Jam indeed, dude. Freaking Pog. Oh? Are we getting like a, a music thing again? They did one with Deluke the other day, which is really cool. I don't think she's coming this update, man. It's Venti. This is beautifully like drawn. Holy shit. Someone's gonna turn that into a live wallpaper. That is so pretty. This isn't a new track at all, but all right. I'll, I'll take the pretty art. Say the music's fitting. <laughs> Vibe and that's so pretty, though. Get more music? More music we already have. 
Oh my god, Dizzy. He is a pretty boy, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Vibe out again, bro. Vibe. Like Venti over there on the on the stump of that tree. There's so many flowers on it. Dude, catch those animal crystal flies. Those guys are way too hard to catch, dude. Missing out. On them containers. You need them for that for that condensed resin, Venti. Come on, bro. The animal crystal flies are vibing too, I guess. Gotta respect it. None of these are new, but you know, we'll take them. I'll take them. Oof. Composer for this game. I hope they get known. I want they, they need to be one of the bigs. I don't know if it's a he or she. Like, the music is god-tiered, in. Like, I hope they live on to be, like, a Koji Kondo, or a... or a Dan Salvatore. Like, bruh. Amazing. Really great music. You can never have enough Genshin tunes. And I hate to say it, but it's time for us to wrap up the show. Aww. Aww. So, Jen, <laughs> how did you enjoy your first special program for Genshin Impact? <laughs> oh my gosh. I loved watching the special program for version 1.2, and it was even more fun to be in one myself. It's been a blast hanging out with you and Core, talking about all the new stuff coming in version 1.3. And I hope not we get just more... because we look really cute in chibi form. <laughs> more guests oh, like that. It was that. so awesome to learn about all the new features and... Yeah, I just love that we'll get to experience such a festive series of events in the game. Mm-hmm. Kudos to our developers. I'm just so amazed at how much content we have to share with each update. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, everyone, for watching the Genshin Impact version 1.3 special for the program. Streams, we wish you all a great time in the coming adventures. Stay safe. Bye. Thanks, everyone. See you in version 1.3. Bye, everyone. Aw, dude. All right. Well, that was the 1.3 special program. Um, I'm going to switch over to Genshin. But uh, if you were over on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys later. But here on Twitch, we're going into Genshin, boys. We're going on Genshin, Genshin Impact. By the way, I played this game. <laughs> Too late. Uh, by the way, this game actually runs pretty well on PC now. At least it might be because I'm brute forcing it, but I mean, yeah.
Na na na. Dang gamers, might have to skip freaking freaking Chow for some coaching constellations, bro. I'm mostly kidding. Well, I see. I want to try to get Zhao, and then I'll probably spend everything I got on Kuching. I got a simp for her, bro. Oh, oh no! I said the simp word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get taken off Twitch now. So this is gonna be the first banner we have where it's not a. Uh, not a, like a five star that you can only get through the banner. Uh, probably splicing up that, that thing. Should I do a live edit? I don't know if I feel like doing that. That'd make me nervous. Even though it's just gonna be me cutting out like I don't know just a few seconds like probably between the between the video and the thing yo pog we're at 94. Oh, let's go there. get our expedition. Expedition rewards. And Astra Ambasask. What? Okay, there we go. Oh, how many times I had to click up there? These two still have an hour left? Slackers. Slackers. Slackers be slacking. Oh my god, that's pretty. Holy shit. Yes, Gan, you do oppose. Let's fucking go, dude. That was fucking pretty, dude. I had to take a screenshot. Next on Born of Ice and Frost. This is long overdue. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had the towers on these stairs before. We're way behind schedule. We're way behind schedule. Why are you wondering though, you know? Born of ice and frost. Tell me that didn't block, bro. What? <laughs> All right, buckaroo. Please. Please. Just curious. Well, I'm considering doing Yakuza, but I really want to get that video out as well. Um, but I can't, I can't upload a video and stream at the same time, so I'll probably take a little intermission. Um, get that video out, and uh, then after that's uploaded, I'll probably... I might hop back on and do Yakuza. I don't know. At the same time, it... I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's early. It's really early in the day, so there's plenty of day left. But 
kind of nice waking up early, you know? Instead of waking up at like noon and half the day is already over. Of course, I'm running on like five and a half hours of sleep, but that's besides the point. Dude, 1.3 though. Whole oh, baby. I'm hyped. There's gonna be a lot of crap to do. A lot of events. I like that. I don't know if I've ever talked to this, done this before. Oh, is she just hungry? How am I already hungry again? Oh, it's you, wonderful. Do you still remember me from the cook-off with Xiang Ling? That was me, Sifria. <laughs> do you remember me now? Anyway, you've come at a great time. Could I ask you to help me with something? What do you need? Do you still recall the jade parcels that you made the previous time? So delicious, I could still taste it even now. Okay, so yeah, I've done this before. So I wanted to give it a try and make some myself, but I, it always feels like there's something missing. I feel like if I try to get it, uh, try it a few more times, I can recreate the flavor too. So could I ask you to make some jade parcels for me to try? I'll see you done. Great, thank you so much. I'll be waiting over here. Hey, I'll finally be able to eat jade parcels again. My last one. Ah, oh, they're they're all gone. The mouthful mouthfeel of those vegetables, the perfectly paired flavors of the ham and the lotus, and that soup. This is it. This is the flavor that I tasted the last time. Thanks for coming over to make me this dish. I need to go back home and make some notes. Next we meet, I will definitely be able to make a batch of perfect jade parcels. When that time comes, do swing by to have a taste. Yes, ma'am. I haven't ever redeemed any of those codes yet. I should probably do that. By the way, I can't get over that. Um, that Barbara opening to that stream, dude. That was fucking adorable. Fucking adorable. Like that. That's some good shit. Like how you can hear the the game like giving me the mail. I think this is pushing it. Alright. Ooh, baby. You redeemed the, the codes leaked? Those three codes are just from the live stream, bro. Wait, they were the same? They're usually regional. But all right. They're not always the same. They are not always the same. Maybe in the live streams. No, Nino. Not like always. Maybe recently. They definitely had region specific codes for a while there. Mr. Icy Boys. <laughs> Big damage. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I think we have one more commission question mark. How are you not dead? That's what I thought. Hey, thank you for the follow, Radioactive23. Hello. Welcome. All right, come on. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny that I said I wake up. <laughs> I just realized. Perma freeze. Perma freeze. Point three is on the third, I believe. And we're getting the Shao banner first, and then a Kuching banner. Which pog, dude. I'm definitely gonna get try to get some constellations. So anyway, which where where are her power spikes? Yeah, I'm probably gonna save for some of that. I'm not really sure how good Kuching's constellations are. That one seems pretty strong. The right of parting? Have you heard? You're gonna skip gun you. <laughs> emotes. What are those emotes? We got DB style and Pog. The new Pog Champs are not bad. I like the new Pog Champ today. Today's Pog Champ's good. I respect it. Add at yesterday's was cursed, bro. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about yesterday's Pog Champ. Okay, let's go do this. Is this the last day of this? No, I don't think so. I think this goes to the 31st. But I need to get better scores on everything, to be honest. Uh, but what are we dealing with here? It is all three. Ooh, monk ass. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, do they take turns? 300 seconds. I don't think I'll be able to do this on expert. But we'll do this. Do this. I don't have anyone pyro in my party. An active character's HP is lower than 50%. Attack is decreased by 25%. Active character's HP is more than 50%. Nope. Stamina, no. Nope. nope. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Let's just, to say the least. Um, I should probably bring... Ooh, well, I don't know. We don't really use Venti in these, um, so we'll bring Jungli. 
What shall we do? That should be okay. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll just have to see how it goes. We'll have to see. So does it just spawn all three? Or is it one at a time? Okay, I think it's one at a time. Of course, we start with freaking Anima one. Joining people with a bit watchers and follow. Hey, nice. Nice, nice. Oh. Well, this is not. Okay. Born of ice and frost. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Rex Lapis. Uh oh. Dude, come on. This is annoying. I've always hated the anima one. Like, legitimately. Please stop, bro. This is not going well. Come on. That's not what I wanted to attack game. Shit. Donnie's just out for the count. Got lucky that I'll be fine. Come on, dude. I hate the animo hypostasis. Legitimately. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting this. We are not getting this. We spent way too much time on just the animo hypostasis alone. No, stop. Yeah, this, unless I like literally one shot the other ones, this is not happening. I don't understand what it means by use plunging attacks. Like that, I guess. Up. Okay, well, it's okay. We got health. Yikes! I'm so bad, dude. <laughs> so bad, dude. We're not getting that. I need way more time. I need way more time. Yep, no chance. <laughs> Oh, 
Might even might even cop out on the 50% here. Come on, You gotta read these carefully too. I might even turn that one off. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how people do do these at like the highest the highest difficulty with the highest score, bro. Cough, cough, whales. Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, that might have been too much time. I don't need. Tw I don't need that much time. No Try to get rid of these. Whoa! Those tornado things really wanted to hit me. Wait, what? annoying please sir we're way behind schedule <sighs> I don't even know how people do this on mobile dude I feel bad for people playing on mobile Nice. All right. See you later, radioactive. Banshee's selling that grasp of the war mind. We're way behind. Born of ice and frost. We're way behind schedule. All hail. What? Next on the agenda. Oh my god, leave me alone. What am I stuck on, bro? What? Balagna. We're way behind schedule. Just got silver added to your what? What am I doing? Yeah. 
This was a mistake. Incoming. Hey, come on now. We're way behind schedule. Solidified. Oh no. You shouldn't see me like Oh no. My country. What the fuck, bro? God damn it, dude. God damn it, dude. Well, GG. Of course, the mark goes away as soon as I uh, pull out kitchen. Let's say yikes. That's what happens when you don't bring a Claymore character. And Zhang Li dies. I'm molding. Please die, please die, please die. Fucking yikes, dude. Faster? <sighs> what? Oh my god, dude, what is this? GG, not really. Cold. So cold. That's annoying. That's actually annoying. I actually have to go down a difficulty, dude. I feel like such a bad player. Legitimately, this makes me feel so bad at the game. Um Your wrist hurts, why? I hate this. I actually hate this. It's like I have to either just not take any hits or I have to switch someone out. A geo hypostasis fucking kills me at the end, bro. We're 
way behind schedule. Oh, well, this should be easy. It's level 40. <laughs> Such a bad player, bro. This is going to be too easy. God, I hate gliding sometimes. Alright. Of course he got one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but why'd you get silver in the first place? And for what reason? Yeah, you can get these. And now this bastard. A lot easier. But, you know, it's also way lower difficulty. My blood sugar's low, bro. I can feel it. I don't really know what we have, though. get better scores on some of those though because I want this I don't really care about the rest of this stuff but I do want this okay I'll be right back guys I'm gonna get something because my blood sugar is definitely low
Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. Uh, add a banana, and now I got some wheat thins. Come on now. Open up. Open up. FBI, open up. We've done tons of molding, so time to do some more molding. Tech W. Already venti. A minute 17, bro. Trash. Trash. Yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> 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 
Bruh. Me to be venti, I'll be venti. Bruh. Alright. <laughs> Lol. What a fun little lobby. What a fun little lobby. myself a little. You know, she can be Diona if she wants to be Diona. <laughs> oh, baby! Let's go! This can't even be bad. If it even gets defense, it's good, bro. Doesn't have rapid hit and multi kill clip though. Bruh. You're trash. You're trash. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. There's a big bean burrito. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, some good energy recharge. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. Now, what we need to happen is we need that crit rate and that attack. Crit rate and attack. Specific. I want crit rate more. Crit rate more.
crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Let's go! All right. All right. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Attack, we'll take it. Holy shit, dude. This artifact's cracked. Alright, alright, alright. Get to 16, baby. Or the four star thunder soothers that they are. Okay. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Not bad. Still not bad. Holy shit. We need a better crit rate though. But still. but I think this is pushing it. This guy has resistance. Keep that in mind. I want to see what this is like on a non-resistant person. Oh. Hey, that was my birth year. Did I equip it? I did, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. What do you mean I'm old? Screw you. <laughs> Dab.
Give me that dragon tooth. Come on. No touching. Nowhere to hide. Ooh, purple. All right, bud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, with that, I think it's going to be the end of Genshin. Uh, I got to get to getting that video uploaded because it's going to be a massive file and whatnot. And my blood sugar's low and yeah. <laughs> um, I might stream again later. Not sure yet. Um, if not, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, if so, I'll see you guys later. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hasta luego.